sun. Many cities and states boast of having the best barbecue. You've heard the claims from Kansas City, Memphis, and North Carolina. And of course, add Texas to that list, where it seems like there's a joint on every corner. But few can claim the rich heritage of Davila's barbecue. We asked our Texas correspondent, CBS's Janet Chamlian, to give it a try. 41. I got you. I got you guys. In the city of Seguin, there you are. Davila's barbecue is destination dining. And it's destiny for Adrian Davila. This is where I'm in my, my element the most is fire, meat. He's a third generation pit master. Six decades after his grandfather started the restaurant in an old schoolhouse. Cooking in front, the family living in back. Whenever you're trying to live up to a, such a legend as my grandfather was in the community, as far as the barbecue space, like he was grand master because he didn't leave the pits. Mm -hmm. Every stick of wood, every piece of meat, every sausage that was hung, it's him, his decision only. Nobody else touched the pits. So that barbecue always came out with his stamp on it. And you felt that responsibility? Absolutely. My hairs are standing up right now. You still do? I still do. Raul Davila was a butcher by trade. Indelible memories for Adrian. I remember him taking something that at the time was so primal as a big cut of meat and breaking it down and making something beautiful with it. And when it came out onto the table and people enjoyed it, that was astonishing to me. Adrian's dad, Edward, took over in the mid-90s making his own mark. Thank you, sir. 46. But never asking his son to work in the family business. Did you have 46? Yeah. OK. Envisioning something better, even though it's all Adrian wanted. But when, again, I was able to see what it created and how you created memories with food, birthdays, celebrations, anniversaries, weddings, you create memories. And I just, that, that hooked me. All right, guys. So did his family's culinary history. This is your place? All right, yes, this is the ranch. This is where my wife Inspired grew. by Vaqueros, Mexican cattle herders, Davila took us to his ranch. This is what we call a, a barbacoa en pozo. For a look at how they slow cooked meat, like this lamb, right. in an underground pit. Let's see if the magic happened. You know how they have like the oh pool. Oh my goodness. She a tradition he's keeping alive today. Look at that. Is that ready to eat? When it's falling apart like that, there's nothing but. Mm. <laughs> you see the mm -hmm. seeds of the tomato, the onion, and the jalapeno. Yeah. The carols would celebrate like this, Davila says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An outdoor oh, feast a at a colorful table. It takes a lot of love and passion to create all this, and that's what makes it so satisfying. I'm going to get that. Oh, okay. Listen. Influenced by the past, but with an eye to the future, Adrian now runs Davila's. That means new items, like the barbecue grilled cheese sandwich, chopped brisket, sautéed onions. Just a little butter on there, huh? Texas toast and lots of cheese. Get every little bit in there. You have to try this. Okay. This is now one of the best grilled. selling on the menu. Mmm. That's unbelievable. We sell more of these per day than we do our regular barbecue sandwiches. Really? Imagine that. As if we needed more, Davila prepared for us just about everything he sells. Their signature sausage, still hand-tied every day. This is exactly the way my grandfather made it, not changing the recipe. Ribs are a barbecue staple and almost always pork. But here, they're lamb. Go ahead and have a short bite. Okay. And then... The vinegar of the pickle mm -hmm. is what you got to follow up with. Chaser. Dip it right in the sauce. Dessert then, well, is big red cake. Let's have a big red cake. Do you do this to go? <laughs> <laughs> yes. One of our biggest sellers right there. Really? Oh, yeah. Made with soda of the same name, a tribute to his grandparents. So as big red as oh my, my siblings and I would go to grandma and grandpa's house, there was that big red cake in the fridge. It's our favorite thing. For Adrian Davila, it's always been about family. From his wife Sarah, his inspiration and teammate, to the men who held the title, Davila's Pitmaster, before him. 
I was watching your dad yeah. watch you, mm -hmm. and you couldn't see it, but I saw the pride in his eyes. He's so proud of you. That's what we all want, right? We're born with this inherent trait to satisfy our parents. Mm -hmm. It's human. Everybody wants to satisfy their parents, right? Everybody wants to make their parents proud. The steward of a proud family legacy. Davalos, one of a kind. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Janet Shamlian in Seguin, Texas. I love the fact that he wants to make his papa and mama proud. Well, he's it, done more than that. <laughs> yeah, he certainly has. And he's brought in some food for us here as well. I mean, this is this looks incredible and Dig in, but Janet had a Whoa. field day I on know. that dish. What and I just piece. say, she did it right. I it's want so that grilled cheese. And look at me. this. Yeah. This is whiskey, right? That we're supposed to pick, pour it in wow. here. Yeah, and a little sweet tea, because that's how they do it. Cheers. Here, here. To Davila's, right? To Davila's. Yeah. Insanely good.